curious uh, light speed quiz this month, February 2016, number two of the year, uh, in that only two of us uh, did it, and uh, it was, well, we now at this bit of film is at the end of our trip to Bruges, uh, and uh, some edited highlights of the quiz will be coming up for you, and maybe a few holiday snaps, so it's going to be very different from the usual light speed quiz which you watch. Nevertheless, I take this opportunity to invite people, hopefully, well, next year, I'm going to be doing the bloody same thing, if uh, whether you people come or not, even though we both agree we'd have loved to come. Mark? Definitely, we could have done with a few more people in. At least four of us. It'd have, it'd, have made, it'd have made the quiz even better. We've had such a laugh over the last couple of days. It would have failed. you ever noticed, we're both still alive. <laughs> nobody's stabbed each other. Nobody's murdered each other. There's no bodies buried in Bruges. It's fine. Some of you, some of the people who are watching this must be thinking to themselves, Jesus, Matt Laycock, he had to sleep for 48 hours. Hey, I've got me 24/7. <laughs> I mean, some of the particular highlights, the, the value of the trip is 80 quid for basically two nights in a hotel. Uh, bring your own kettle. Yeah, that's one thing the cabin did like a kettle, but they had a Starbucks on board. Uh, the Bruges itself, it's, it's a fairy tale <laughs> place, it really is. Oh, uh, it is. It's the kind of place you'd like to see under a blanket of frozen snow or fog, yeah. Definitely. It's enchanting. Uh, the, the, the food we found was good, the beer was great. Oh, definitely. Uh, and uh, just, you know, I was really thinking about coming next year because there's going to be a blank Friday. Uh, if it's to do with your school terms or stuff, hey, we might be able to come on a Wednesday during the, the half term at this time of year. But certainly the sooner we get stuck in when these offers come up in October from P&O Ferries, uh, and respect to them for putting this offer on, uh, we would uh, do it. Highlight for me was, uh, uh, well, the low lights. We found a place called Dick Cox Strassland, did we? Which is no. a bit of a shame. You found a wolf fart. Wolf fart, oh uh, yeah, you can have a picture of that, I think. And uh, uh, the chocolate to catch the kiddies with, and uh, beer. Yes. Whatever you say about Belgium's great. People walking dogs in the street, didn't see a single duffel coat. But you no, got which, couple, which is weird. You got a couple of anoraks, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big thanks as well, sorry, to. Uh, Matt Preston, who you'll hear asking the questions, perhaps, on, on this film coming up. And uh, big apologies to people at Ashton who were ready with a set of questions, but just as we're sailing kind of back into Hull now, uh, by the time we got round to asking Ashton for some questions, uh, we were out of range. So what you'll see on the quiz, you'll see 60, 80 questions from uh, Mark Preston over in Rochdale, which is a curious thing to say. Uh, then we actually shared 80 questions each, and uh, oh, you'll see the result. Here it goes. Enjoy. And uh, <laughs> okay, we are on Lightspeed Quiz uh, Tournament Number Two, 2016. Mark Laycock versus Steve King. Match play. Good luck, mate. Good luck, idiots. What kind of suit was a number one selling album of both sides of the Atlantic in 1970? The duck suit. Not duck suit. Ah, Mark, you got it. Goat's head suit. Mark gets it too. Laycock's got it right. Goat's head suit by the Rolling Stones. Two points for Laycock. Give the Queen and take the races. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh, I've finally got a question to it. Yeah. yeah. Got to take a drink. You put it there on your side. Right. Okay, Mark. In the 1970s-80s TV series, Wurzel Gummidge, who played the title Beep. role? John Pertwee. <laughs> John Pertwee indeed. Two points. If you fancy something a little more relaxing, up in the Moonlight Bar on Blue Deck. Which 1970s TV series featured Geoffrey Bladen as the title character, an eccentric 11th century wizard Beep. Beep. who accidentally... That was me. Me. Cat weasel. Cat weasel. Correct. And they also said telling bone, <laughs> like when I turn it on. Hold on. Next, the twin question to the uh, Gold's Head Suit. Which single from Gold's Head Suit? A girl's name me, me. also reached them. Well, okay, Angie. Oh. Angie is correct. Oh, just beat me. 
We're good now because people have gone so I can turn you up, Mark. Are you supposed really? to be drinking beer? Well, yeah. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. You, you're out one, I'm out three. We've got some beer drinking to do. Right, carry on, Mark. Go. Ready? Right, what's round two? Question one. What was the name of the British Royal Navy research vessel that Lieutenant James Cook commanded beep. on his first voyage? Beep, 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 beep. Pelican. Yep. No, that's Min no, not Pelican. Minus one. Finish. Minus one indeed it is. Have you finished the question? <laughs> not, uh, not finished, mate. Right? I can give you the rest. Please do. Uh, well, Lieutenant James Cook good, commanded yeah. on his first voyage of discovery to Australia and New Zealand. Endeavour. Take a drink. Me and Sam had our picture taken when we were up in Stockton first time round with it. Yeah, well, screw you Stop guys. The Get on with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who did Jacques Louis David paint in an iconic pose on horseback in 1800? Me. Nothing Cavalier. No. Nope. you finished the question? Finished, yes. So could you repeat, what, can you repeat the question? Oh, repeat, sorry. Who did Jack Louis David paint in an iconic pose on horseback in 1800? Uh, 1800, it's got to be uh, Napoleon. Yeah, yeah Napoleon was in part, yeah. Yeah, get in there. Napoleon was on horseback, I don't think the David was on horseback when he painted it, of course. Next. Yeah, go for it. Which cartoonist created the far side? Me, Gary Larson. You've asked that. Play cop straight in. Gary Larson, correct, yeah. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Which organ of the body is affected by right disease? Me. Oh. So I don't know what it is, so I'm going to go for liver. Not liver, pass over. Kidneys. Kidney's dizzy right. Last one up, Mark. Get your points right to up, mate. Ten Last points. Last one up, Mark. Kidney's is correct. Next. Yeah. Which French post-impressionist painter sold all of his pictures to enable a move to the Me. Dega. No, Dega. No, 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 no. Money. Go Gan. Not money. Go Gan. Go Gan. Go Gan. Go Gan. Go Gan. Go 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 Second time we've done that today. Did, did, oh yeah, you didn't. They moved back. to Tahiti. <laughs> <laughs> right, Go on. Come on. Next, one of the last tea clippers to be built, and one of the fastest. Be what? What? Cutty Sark. Is correct, Steve. Cutty Sark. Sorry, mate. I, I edged yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, I'm doing it. Next. Yeah. What is the more common name for the medical condition of periorbital hematoma? Black eye. Black eye. Mark, Mark's in there. Black eye. 12 points to Mark. Yeah. Which English musician and composer has been a member of Eurasia, Depeche Mode? Uh, Clark. Oh, go on, yeah. I'll give you Vince that. Clark. Vince Clark. A surname accepted, yeah. Vince um. Clark. <laughs> Okay, Mark. Next, in August 2015, a book was published, written by David Lagerkrauts, which continues the Stig Larsen Millennium Trilogy. Its title was The Girl... Big. With the dragon tattoo? No. That's no. over. With the clitoral piercing? <laughs> no. It's Girl in the Spider's Web. Don't seem like we should know it. Okay. Carry on. Next. Yeah. Yeah. In the United Kingdom, which parliamentary official is responsible for maintaining the building's services Me. and security Mark. of the park? Black yeah. Rod. Black Rod is his mark, good answer. Well, oh, I was just going to so say Rod. that as well that I thought now. 14. Black Rod, well done. Mark. Next. Yeah. Also known by its Italian name, Alto Adigie. What is the most northerly Be of Italy's 20 regions? Well, I've got to go for Piedmont. Not Piedmont, though. Uh, is that a minus? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. I'll, I'll go for Lombardy. No, no minus. Question finished. Lombardy. Lombardy, I'm going for. Not Lombardy. It's South Tyrol. Right. 
Richard Adams. Richard Adams it was. Give me. Next. Hang on, mate. Okay. Go. Which UK high-profile political figure is married to Kirsten Murr? The Jeremy Corbyn. Not Corbyn, passed over. Nigel Farage? Farage it is my Oh, I like the cut of your gym, mate. 18 now. German. German match. German wife. I know. Kirsten Mayer. M-E-H-R. She's German, of course. So within five years either way, in which year was the Suez Canal Big. opened? Fuck. Right, we'll go for 1901. 
No, passed over. 1867. Oh, Martin Van Gogh. Well, you're not Van Gogh, you're accepted. Good answer. The actual year is 1864 and 1874 is correct. Good answer, Mark. Head safe, good question. Good answer, Mark. Two points, Mark, sorry. Okay. <coughs> Richard Adams' third novel, which was what? Shardick. No, lose a point. Oh. Like, walk it down, made into an animated film. Features two main non-human characters, Rolf and Snitter. What was the title of this novel? I could have waited to say it. No idea. Play Dogs. Ah. Play Dogs. Yeah. Well, right, right, good luck, both of you. Uh, the name of which Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavour references the late lead Mark lead guitarist. Jimmy Garcia. Cherry Garcia is correct. Did you say Jerry or Cherry? Cherry. <laughs> Cherry Garcia. Yeah. You said Cherry, didn't you? Yeah, I said Cherry. He said he said Cherry. I said Cherry Garcia. I think you said Cherry. Well, yeah, because it was Charlie Buckley. He's Cherry Garcia. Right, okay, next. It makes, only makes up a fraction of the available carbon on Earth. But which radioactive isotope? Of carbon is the basic. Mark, carbon basic. Mark, carbon 14. Carbon 14, correct, Mark. So that's where you get some help. Next, which isotope of uranium makes up less than 1% of natural Mark, uranium? Mark, big uranium 235. Oh, Mark's on a roll. Mark, wake up, you're killing it here, mate. Well done. Next. The name of which Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavour references the name of an ancient Indian text in the law. <laughs> uh, Mark Fish Food. Stop. Steve, uh, <laughs> get Karma Sutra? Well, yes. It's actually caramel sucrose. Oh, no, you, you, you were going to... Question Master's always right. Oh, you were going to pull me on Cherry Cherry. Oh. I've crossed it out. <laughs> I've crossed it out. Yeah. Right, okay, next. Which of the following is a Hindu county? What's the birthplace of Alfred Ward Tennyson, Matthew Flinders and Sir Isaac Newton? B. Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire, correct, Steve, yeah, exactly. Next, well, not which coat made from a thick wool material? Big Duffel. Duffel coat. Say hello to the town of Duffel when you're there. <laughs> we will. Yeah, we'll go near it. <laughs> it's named after a Belgian town. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Next, in the 2014 Radio Times poll <laughs> for favourite BBC children's TV characters of the time, which public servant was the most popular character from the 1980s? Mark Bosman Park. Bosman Park. Oh, you're nailing this, Mark. You're nailing this. Stick it to kids. Stick it to the boss. Yeah. Next. In Rolling Stones magazine list of the 20 most annoying pop songs ever, which can tell the kids that are men? Big. Who we'll let the dogs out? Who we'll let the dogs out in general? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Next. Whoa. Come again, come again, start again. Black, white, roll, and unity are all of the stolen in which video came and charged. Mark, it's that in screen. That's that in screen. You have to get that, Mark, we discuss. When Rolling Stones magazine compiled a list of 20 most annoying pop songs ever, which 1995 hit for an Iberian duo Beat Matt! Um, I'll have a... Uh, cheeky song. No? No. Lose a point, because I've not finished two words. Did they list second, Mark? No. Venga Bus. Macarena. No. It's the Macarena. Macarena. What's the Rios? Next, in the 2014 Radio Times poll, 
from the fair favourite BBC children's character of all time. Which Bursine character was Beep. most popular from the 1970s? Yep. Uh, Rupert. Not Rupert. Ah, oh, <laughs> most popular of the 1970s. Can you just repeat that, please? Ursine character, 1970s. Ursine character. Not Rupert. The The Wombles? Paddington. Oh. Paddington, innit? Bye, you've gone. That's it. We've lost everything. Yeah, oh well. What? Oh, Mark's still there, hello. Mark, you're gonna go. We're gonna lose you. So, we're gonna say bye-bye. We can't hear you, you're breaking up completely, you've got to go. We love you, we wish you were here. Yeah. Come next year, alright? See you, mate. Oh, I'm all best, you guys. Why are you talking to that with speakers on that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, that's going off for good now, I think. Show me a question to be up there, about another 20. Oh, well, we'll ask him. We'll ask him. Right, so now it comes to... <sighs> Let's have a chill. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not trying to steal his job. Which country? This is a typical one. Hey, you didn't get that one right. Yeah. Well, no, I just mean because it's cheaper. Who sent the following telegram in May? Now you've got to realise it's going to be who wrote Dracula? I think at least. you out. 19. Business magnate Bill Gates dropped out. I've got two drinks to go out in the room. Hope you notice this. We're sneakily watching. I'm drinking more than Steve. Right? Hey, it's a fuck out of my empties. You'll all come out of the wash. Uh, Let's go down. Oh. Trying to do me out of points as well, kids. It's a lot come out of the washes when I had one. Head to Brute and the final words of which Shakespearean title character? Julius Caesar. Who oh. reached number one in the UK on the, 20, on the 3rd of August? 2009, no, sorry, 1985, yeah, <laughs> with Into the Groove. Oh my god, can you believe we just got this one wrong? Yeah. Well, what we drink the last time I've been which might Are we still in the same place? We've been going like for three hours and we look like we're in exactly the same place. He's just missed out on two questions there, by the way. What? Oh, I've won. Well, I've got ten, so it should be five empty. I can't win by skill, I'll win by cheap. <laughs> Other than Malawi, which country uses a kwacha as currency? Yeah, but we'll so, the situation is, going to the last 20 questions of Lightspeed Quiz, Tournament 2, 2016. I'm in the lead, 106 points to Max 93. We both realised that we had the two best quizzes who compete in Lightspeed Quiz, therefore we probably would have got close to this amount anyway. But, uh, these all count for the end of the year. You need seven answers to win. So your seven answers are there. We'll put them in line for the camera so you can see them all. And these are the bonus ones. All right. And this is mine. So lights be quick. Come and join in. Um, there is so much of this film being missed out. Obviously, there's only one short film you're seeing now. Probably about 20 minutes long, 30 at the very, very most. Uh, but next year, there'll be half a dozen people sitting around this table. They'd better be. Oh, we better have a good crack as well. Okay, here we go. Mark, 20 questions coming up. You need seven. 
Which company announced the acquisition of its French counterpart Alcatel Lucent in early 2016? What was cricket bowler Frank Tyson's nickname? So things are looking good. <laughs> Two down, 18 to go, 13 points needed. What sign of the zodiac is depicted by the ram? It's cancer. Two points. Who released the 1983 live album Under a Blood's Red Sky? You too. Featuring Gloria, 11 o'clock TikTok and Sunday Bloody Sunday. I didn't even finish the question off. You buzzing early. By what name is Franz Schubert Symphony? We've had Franz Schubert already yeah. today. Number 8 in B minor, D.759. Sometimes we number the symphony number 7, which obviously you really wanted to know. How's it better known? Give any year in the life of Beethoven. 1776. The Long Good Friday from 1980. Time Bandits in 1981. I feel like a Bob Hoskins question coming up, doesn't it? It does. Privates on Parade, 1982, and a private function, 1984. Are you buzzing and going in on this? No, you're not, you're not. You're just not buzzing in. Were all early releases made by which film? Handmade. You said Michael Palin there. Name, name all three of the Earth Brothers. Virgil. Wyatt. Brian. <laughs> Morgan, I'll give you one point. I may have to change the question as we go along. I'm going to have to <laughs> Take half a drink. You see what or a full drink. Yeah. So this is for the, uh, two for the draw. I've been a while. And we're on the eighth question. Who was the first of Anne Hyde's daughters to rule England? Pidgin English originally evolved as the lingua franca for British trainers to which country? The Millennium Prayer, Saviour's Day, <laughs> Mistletoe and Wine were Christmas hits for Cliff Richard. Oh. But what was his mother's name? Eleven. Mary. <laughs> No, you've got two points there, you're on 11. So you need one more to draw. Yeah. Five centilitres are one part of vodka, and ten centilitres are two parts of orange juice comprised of screwdriver. Absolutely, we're all square. Who's the first British monarch to have a Christmas tree? Ta-da! The way. Hey! How does Miss Lawson explain Emily Arundel's death in Dumb Witness? Five to go. What super K was given to Peter the First, the Tsar of Russia, between 1672 and 1725? Jimmy is great. He's all counted the Butler of the Year award as well. Okay. Even though I've got no buzzer. Who was the female leader of the Red Army faction found hanged in her cell before the conclusion of her 1976 trial? Oh. Ulrika Meinhof. Oh. Baden Meinhof. Yeah. Which song did Hilda Baker and Arthur Mullard get to number 22 in 1978? Uh, I love you. You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What was unusual about Yaroslava Svedova's 2012 Wimbledon third round, second set against 10th seed Sarah Irani? First women's set to be played in football. It was a golden set, she didn't concede the point. Oh. Last question. And there is actually not much in it, all your four points in front. And I've not. Yeah, there's not much in it, yeah. four points in front. But you'll be six points in front. What alcoholic drink is distilled from grain flavoured with junior, ju juniper berries? Gin is correct, and that's it. Oh, Mark, he's on the top one. Mark, silverware. Oh, well worth 40 quid. Lightspeed quiz 2016 European champion, Gross. And he's in that drive as well. Gold and silver, both of you. Oh, wow. Thank you very much.
make a cup of coffee. And we, did, we didn't just quiz on the boat either. We did quizzes at the top of the Belfry Tower. We, oh, we did them everywhere. Uh, yeah, I won put actually every quiz available on the Belgian mainland. On the, on the Belgian mainland, yes, you did. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay. But seriously, we wouldn't have a problem with mobile phones and try to get people to phone questions in if there were more of us here next year. We'd all be able to do our own questions and it'd be nice and simple. Well, I'm here next year, mate. I hope you are. I'll do my best. Woohoo!